Hello guys, Harry here. Welcome back to my channel and hope you are well. So guys, we're checking out this Casio Duro in this video uh, today. I bought this watch about two weeks ago, paid around 115 Australian dollars for this watch. That's including shipping and local taxes. Bought mine from Creation Watches. They are based out of Singapore. I have bought from them in the past as well. And all of my past experiences have been great so uh, i had no issues to um, go ahead with this purchase as well the retail price here in australia for this watch is 229 dollars but you should be able to score a decent discount on this watch you can buy these on amazon ebay and there's plenty of other websites that you can purchase uh, this watch from as well here is the uh, hang tag with the reference number it is a long one as you know casio loves putting uh, long reference numbers for uh, their watches so Let's kick in and let's check out this uh, Casio Duro. So looking at the uh, dimensions, we have a case size of 44 millimeters with a lug to lug distance of 49.5 millimeters, so slightly under 50 millimeters. So it's definitely on the larger side. If you're someone with a larger wrist, you should not have many problems in pulling this off. My wrist size is average. I'll give you a wrist shot at the end of the video to show you how this fits on my average uh, wrist just to give you an idea. The case thickness is 12.3 millimeters, so not really thick. This is a quartz watch, so it doesn't need to be too thick anyway. And we have a lug width of 22 millimeters, which will come really handy. You should be able to find plenty of straps or other uh, bracelet options out there for this watch. I'll touch on this bracelet a bit later on, and I'll explain why I'm saying this 22 mil lug width will uh, come really, really handy. So it's a stainless steel watch. You've got stainless steel case, crown, and bracelet on this one. The finishing is quite straightforward. We have brushing on the uh, the top of the lugs and high polished finish along the, the side of the case, as you can see. So if you are someone who will be using this watch uh, as a beater, expect to get some uh, scratches on this case fairly uh, quickly. I would have loved to have uh, brush finish along the, the side of the case as well but that is not what casio decided to do with this watch so those are the uh, dimensions and the uh, the finishing on the uh, case now for the glass we only get a mineral crystal i wasn't really expecting sapphire crystal from casio at this price point uh to be honest anyway at least for the price that i paid for this watch i can't really complain about that too uh, much now looking at the dial in this close-up you can see it has a subtle sunburst effect to it as well, but you have to look at the dial from a certain angle to be able to see that sunburst effect. And it's not a plain black looking dial either, it has a brushed finish to it, which I really like. For the markers, we have a combination of circles and rectangles. Casio printed underneath 12 o'clock, WR 200 meters printed above 6 o'clock there. Then you've got Japan movement printed on either side of that 6 o'clock marker there. So again, minimal writing or printing on the dial which i really like sometimes you can find dials out there which are cluttered with a lot of information that you don't really need to know at least on the dial of the uh, of the watch so i really like this minimal printing on the dial from casio then we've got the uh, the date complication at three o'clock now for my liking the date window could have been a little bit larger especially for a watch of this size i find it to be a little bit on the on the smaller side we do have the uh, the white printed framing around the uh, the date complication there as well. I really like the uh, the red color on the seconds hand as well. Adds a bit more legibility and uh, color to uh, this dial. So for the bezel, we are getting a 120 click unidirectional bezel. Not the most grippy bezel, I would say, but once you find your grip, then uh, it is quite easy to use and rotate. Makes a decent sound. As well unfortunately this one does not line up perfectly at 12 o'clock as you can see and there is uh, some play as well more than uh, my liking so from the quality control point of view not the best bezel I've seen on a Casio uh, Duro but I do like the uh, the color of this bezel some people will draw similarities between this watch and uh, the uh, Rolex uh, Kermit you do get 200 meters of water resistance, which I mentioned earlier as well, with a screw down crown and a screw down case back on this one. The uh, the size of the crown is 6.4 uh, millimeters. It is an unsigned uh, crown, but you do get crown guards 
on both sides of the uh, crown. So this is a quartz watch as expected from Casio anyway. Casio doesn't make automatic uh, watches. They use their own modular 2784. You get approximately three years of battery life. You can use SR626SW battery. The stated tolerance from Casio is plus to minus 20 seconds per month. Now I wanna talk about this uh, bracelet. There's not a lot to talk about to be uh, honest and uh, there's not much happening with this bracelet either as you can see we get rolled uh, links hollow end links and it is pressed on the inside you get casio stamped on the clasp there there's not a lot of micro adjustments uh, either and uh, when it comes down to the red link it does a lot of that as you can uh, hear in the uh, video right now so as i mentioned earlier this 22 mil lug width will come really really handy because you'll be able to find plenty of strap or bracelet options out there that will fit this watch and uh, if you are buying and keeping uh, this watch then uh, that is one is investment that I would say is worth uh, making so um, yeah it, it's just um, not up to the mark and uh, on face value it looks okay can't really complain about the way it looks but from the uh, the quality standpoint it's just uh, not uh, up to the mark and as I mentioned earlier that is one investment you can make uh, in your uh, watch that will uh, really help in um, making this watch more wearable if you are going to wear it every day. So here is the uh, the lube and I can't really complain about the lube too much either. It comes up straight away. You can see the pip lube. You can see the lube on the seconds hand as well. It is doing a decent uh, job. So uh, for the price, Casio is charging for this watch. I think they've put a decent lube on this watch as well. So here it is on uh, my average wrist, a quick wrist shot before uh, I wrap up the uh, video. My wrist size is slightly over 6.75 uh, inches. I've lost uh, some weight and um, that has definitely shrunk my uh, wrist uh, as well. So um, looking okay, I mean it's a larger watch, 44mm uh, case. That is something that I sort of try to stay away uh, from. My absolute max is uh, 42 uh, millimeters not saying that I don't have larger watches in my collection. The only larger watch than 42 mil is uh, my Boulevard Lunar Pilot. So um, apart from that, I try to sort of stay away from uh, larger watches because uh, they can look uh, quite uh, big on uh, my wrist. So um, thank you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you with my next video shortly. Until then, stay safe and look after one another. Thank you again.